The COVID pandemic ignited a walking, cycling and public transport revolution in the country. In response to the COVID-19 crisis, the Government of India launched three visionary programs for a green recovery. India Cycles for Change, Streets for People and most recently Transport for All. Over 130 cities have risen up to take the challenge. Cities put citizens at the heart of this change by engaging with them, crowdsourcing solutions and adopting the Test Learn Scale Mantra. Over 2,000 designers participated in design competitions to develop quick and low-cost solutions to create landmark public spaces and model neighborhoods. Cities tested cycle tracks and pedestrian zones, made intersections safer, reduced traffic speeds in neighborhoods, reimagined market spaces, activated dead zones, turned streets into public plazas, organized cycle repair clinics, led the Cycle to Work campaign, hosted open street events, and so much more. Oh, yeah. S4P challenge gave a great push towards implementing some of the pilot interventions. We started selling the dream to our citizens. The dream that, you know, Kohima can be the cycling capital of the country. I fell in love with cycling recently and look forward to having our cities more cycling friendly. As stage one ends, 39 cities have become the pioneers of walking and cycling in India. We are now excited to venture into the Stage 2 of the India Cycles for Change and the Streets for People Challenge. These pioneering cities will focus on expanding their work by developing long-term implementation plans, budgets, making the pilot interventions permanent and building institutional resilience to ensure that we build a nation of healthy streets. For those cities who have yet to start their journey, we are now launching Season 2 for both the challenges. We welcome you all to come together to reimagine our cities.